I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on this display This is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living Hey guys, Greg here, Bone Tactical And today we are going to discuss The brand new 2022 EDC Kank Alright, now the coolest feature, which I'm sure by this point you guys are aware of, the coolest addition to the EDC Kank line is the high roller, all right? And it's the gold and rosewood. And it's just absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. As you guys know, we were the first to put start doing a gold tone, durable finish in the knife industry. Uh, I'm sure it'll catch on, but it's extremely difficult to do. So the, one of the reasons those are a little bit more expensive and it's as well, the rosewood is just an incredibly rare old growth hunter and rosewood that I was able to find on one of my Overland expeditions. So we go from there to the most affordable is the modern warrior version here, which is micarta jute micarta we make with our old coffee bags and close to a skin tone gray man colorway okay but also very natural colors so it does well in rural or urban environments just very muted tones we have our what used to be the top of the line now the middle of the line with now featuring granadillo handle scales very beautiful hardwood as well. Black finish and still the 100% handmade with the Gray Man Bone Tactical Color Sheath, always bronze accents. The EDC Kank is basically the most concealable combat effective knife on the market. It's the perfect balance between a knife that's combat effective yet concealable. So it's the smallest combat effective knife and the biggest effectively concealable knife. It's right there, the perfect size. But it's able to cut, slash and stab like a knife twice its size. And the reason for that is because of this recurve in the blade here. This recurve in the blade is what allows it to catch when coming through and slashing. But the traditional Japanese Tanto stabbing style point of the blade allows it to stab incredibly well. So it does both incredibly well. It's a small overall package because of this point of retention that we put into the knife itself. And then it clicks into the sheath with this point of retention here. What that does is it allows the sheath to not have any kind of excess space there and allows me to get a full grip onto the knife when I need to pull it out of the sheath. So I can pull it out and it's already in my hand in the correct grip position. The sheath is also usable in both neck carry. So I can just throw it on here around my neck and carry it like this, or with this stainless steel sheath. Okay, so neck carry with, excuse me, neck carry with the stainless steel chain and beautiful high-end stainless steel chain that won't ever break if you're just using it or during normal use, but it does have separations between the links to where if somebody were to try and choke me out with my necklace, it would separate then. It would, but it takes a quite a bit of pressure in order for it to separate. The sheath also comes with this belt clip, okay, here. And what that does is just very easily slides into the belt and catches, but, We've taken it one step up and you don't even need to have a belt on. You can just slip it into your pants or slip it into your pocket. This will catch at the bottom here and the knife will deploy. So pretty awesome, just absolutely groundbreaking modular sheath system. But from there, the knife itself is really incredible. And the grip is one of the greatest things about it. Aside from how aesthetically pleasing it is, how tough it is, okay, two-ton epoxy and some incredibly strong rivets that we use to mount the hardware. Aside from the fact that all the accessories are bronze and never gonna rust or stainless steel, never gonna rust. 
what we have is a grip section on this knife that's just absolutely incredible. It allows me to hold on to this knife as if it was much larger because of this jimping here and because of these cutouts, the way that this works. So I can hold the knife here in this position. I can slash and stab. I won't cut myself when stabbing. I won't lose the knife when slashing. Even if it get, were to get caught on something hard like a bone, I would just be able to pull right through it, okay? The back section is not sharp. It either fits in the palm here like this, which when I'm holding it like this, I can tuck it into my palm and give myself some momentum for stabbing, or I can rest my thumb and forefinger on top for stabbing this way in reverse knife fighting grip. I can also hold it full grip like this. And that fills my hand, fits very nice, but it is able to be used as a knife much larger. Full size grip knife with a choil and everything like that, full size fighting knife, this grip functions the same way because of the superior design. So that's kind of the rundown of the EDC Kank. The price range goes, like I said, from the Modern Warrior at the lowest end to now the mid-range being the Resolute Warrior, which is really quite beautiful. And the high end now being the High Roller. So... We've got these three options for you guys. You can pick between the three. Because we've had some potential issues with knockoffs or people trying to say that knives are a bone tactical knife when maybe they aren't, because I only make a few knives at a time. For example, this is one of two that I'm making and Someone will be lucky enough to buy one of my knives, one of these knives on the website. I'd make a video, I'd drop the knives. They go on the website and people buy them really quick. Well, what happens then is these, some of the times people buy them and then resell them at a markup. And because of that, because they're so valuable now, some of my earlier editions as well, I make small lots of knives and then change them. And some of the older editions are now going for very high prices from private collectors, I'm now sending them with sealed and stamped and signed certificates of authenticity that say the production date, the number that they were, like lot number, this is one of two, the alloy, 60HRC, 15 and 20, for example. Okay, just an incredible steel, sharp, strong, and tough knocks out everything. It's not extremely corrosion resistant. It's really not very corrosion resistant at all, but you just have to know how to take care of your knife. And that's kind of a, anybody, any guy that's carried a knife should know how to take care of a knife. It's kind of something that's a, a essential man skill. And finally, the, a few of our knives are now coming in the new coffin box, which is just beautiful Spanish cedar also reclaimed hardwood that is the coffin box that I'm making, handmade. Um, we've got the uh, Granadillo, Honduran rosewood, and Spanish cedar, all reclaimed that I found over on Overland Expeditions. I was able to find fallen trees and salvage them, and I'm now making wood products out of them. But these velvet-lined coffin boxes are just so cool and the high roller for example comes in the coffin box so a few of the knives come in coffin boxes the majority of the the rest of the edc kanks will at some point come in a coffin box but you'll just have to check the website because most of most of the higher end stuff comes in the coffin shape box and then i also have an equally elegant and beautiful spanish cedar as well wood box that the all of the EDC kanks, the other two come in. So they all come in beautiful wooden display boxes, but the, the coffin box is a brand new thing that I'm making. That's kind of the gist of the EDC kank. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been a long day here. We just finished up some knife making and trying to film a few of these videos. These actually just came off finished final production and inspection today. I've been working on these three knives for 
about three weeks now just putting the finishing touches on them and they're just absolutely stunning going to get them up on the website here probably we'll get them up on the website first and then get this video on youtube let me know what you guys think of these knives please comment and let me know which one of these is your favorite and why so what you like about the color loadout we've got gold and just absolutely insanely dark and beautiful and hard crazy good looking hunter and rosewood we've got this black and just really also incredible grain pattern and kind of a from a light coffee caramel color to a into a dark red streaks and then some of the other handles will be anywhere from red and even some of the live growth on the outside is white so it's just absolutely in, in, incredible too as well the granadillo let me know if you guys prefer this and this is the natural color of wood this is just clear coat by the way the combination of the gold and rosewood the combination of the granadillo and black or do you guys like the jute coffee handle with the all tactical gray man finish like we put out in the modern warrior resolute warrior or high roller let me know what you guys think or if you like a different combination maybe you want to see the carbon fiber print thermoplastic that we're using with the black knife here okay let me know what you guys think and we'll try and get something worked up for you guys and definitely comment below and let me know your favorite what that'll do at the very least is allow me to keep making these videos just by you guys getting involved. I really do appreciate your participation. Thanks for watching. Bone out.